First of all, let me say, I had been doing a lot better so far in 2024 about only buying fabric unless I had a project for it. I didn't necessarily have to sew it right away, but I did have to have an intention for the fabric. No more buying three or four or five yards of fabric and figuring out what I'm gonna make with it down the line. However, I had to throw all of that out the window when this opportunity presented itself a couple of weeks ago. Hopefully you know that Mimi G and Brittany J. Jones have closed down their store, Melanated Fabrics. And as sad as I am to see it go, I had way too much fun at this sale. Now the online store had already shut down and unfortunately I had missed all the deals because by the time I got the email or checked social media, pretty much the website was wiped clean. However, Mimi and Brittany decided to do one last final sale in store, which was lucky for me because because I am also located in Atlanta. So I was able to go to the brick and mortar store and well, you can see what happened. So it's not my fault. The fabric was just $4 a yard. It didn't matter what kind of fabric. And in addition to that, all the patterns, notions, um, tools and all that kind of stuff were just a flat $2. So I got a couple of that too, but as, long, as much as you see of the fabric here, we are not gonna get to any of the extra stuff in this video. It's gonna take long enough to get through this fabric. Now, the store was crazy on Saturday. If you made it, you know. Thankfully, myself, Denisha, also known as Classified Life, Deja, also known as Deja Made It, and Shamir were in the store to help out Mimi G and her daughter, Lexi. And let me tell you, we had a blast, but it was crazy. So let me show you all the fabric that I got from the sale and get settled in because it's going to take a while. First up, let's start with my knit stack. So there are quite a few knits that I have here. First up, I have this sweatshirt fleece in a nice medium sort of gray, a solid gray, not a uh, ash or like heathered gray. And it has a decent amount of stretch in one direction uh, along the selvage, not so much across the selvage, but it is a beautiful shade of gray and it has a um, really soft finish on the front side and a very fleecy feel on the inside. There is another piece of sweatshirt fleece that I need to just go ahead and show you guys. It's a much larger piece. It is this bright yellow. So this is the fleece side. Again, very nice and soft and brushed like a fleece. But you also have the very smooth knit side on the other side. I have more yardage of this. So this is probably going to be combined with some blue sweatshirt fleece that I have to make a blue and gold hoodie because those are my school colors, my alma mater colors. So I think that that's gonna be really cute. Um, and yeah, if I have any left over, I don't know what I'll do with it, but we will get to that when the time comes. Next up in um, knits, I have this beautiful chartreuse. I'm, this sort of feels like a modal knit. I'm not 100% sure what this is. It might be like a bamboo, but it's very nice. I love the color. I hope that it reads through on screen. I am a fan. Oh, here we go. We have the tag here. It is a Riley Viscose and Avocado. So they don't actually call it a chartreuse. It is an avocado. It's 95% Viscose and 5% spandex. I have three and three eighths yard of this. Very excited to add this to my collection because I absolutely love the color. I think that this is going to end up being a knit pullover dress. I haven't decided exactly which one yet, but I mean, it's just screaming to be like a pullover summer spring dress. So hopefully that will be coming soon because I always can knock out a knit project very quickly. Now, we have a French Terry, which is stripes. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love a stripe fabric. I also really love a French Terry. And this one has great stretch, the nice small loops on the back. It isn't quite as fine as the French Terry that I purchased from uh, Fabric Mart a while back, but I really like this. The gray and white stripe is very classic. It has a very smooth face on the front and then it has a the French loop on the back. So just very nice. This is probably 
about four or five yards so I'll definitely be making a sweater or sweatsuit set out of this some type of sweatshirt and hoodie and a pair of like sweatpants or loose pants this is a bamboo French terry it is charcoal and it says ecru 67% rayon uh, of bamboo 28% cotton and 5% spandex and this is just really a luxe kind of feel I'm gonna shoot myself after the fact for picking stripes yet again for a matching set but I absolutely love stripes and I think that this is going to be gorgeous as a set um the last knit I actually have I told you guys there really weren't many is this purple stretch mesh and I actually grabbed this at the last minute because this makes a great lining in like swimsuits or even bodycon dresses and yes the purple is a bit loud but if it's in clothing you should be able to hide it and I actually probably have some swimsuit fabric that will go with this purple so this will actually work nice and this is just a nice power mesh with stretch of course in four directions so like I said great for either one of those purposes not a specific purpose for this yet and then I had this in the knit pile just because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I did grab some interfacing. Mimi G swears by this WEF interfacing that I have never used, but you know, if she swears by it, it is good enough for me. And I have it in two colorways. I have it in this black, although it looks sort of gray. Um, and then I have it in a cream or a white as well. And this is just so I can have it to match whatever project that I decide to work on, whether it's a light colored project or a dark color project. And this is fusible interfacing. So one side is the fabric, but the other side has the stickiness so that you can adhere it to the project that you're working on. So this is gonna be great for cuffs and collars and waistbands and anything that just needs that additional support of interfacing. Um, I grabbed about three yards of each colorway and that should be enough for the next several projects, I think. I picked up three colorways of this stretch taffeta, these three jewel tones, which are just absolutely gorgeous. First up, I have like an emerald sort of green, which is gorgeous. It has this crinkled um, taffeta texture to it. And then I bought, I think I'm going to call this like fuchsia. I don't know, fuchsia, magenta. Maybe just a bright purple. It's just an interesting take. It's a little bit iridescent when you um, look at it. So we have that. And then a very classic sort of shade of navy blue, which is just always a good color to have. Um, so they vary um, various amounts of these, but I think that this navy blue will become its own project probably a dress not sure which dress yet but i definitely think the navy blue is going to be standing alone by itself whereas these two colors i actually think i am going to put together i haven't decided exactly how but one of the projects that i'm thinking is the mccall's cutout project um like there's a top and a bottom with the side cut out with the ring in it i think it's mccall's 8252 i'll post it somewhere on the screen but i think these two colors actually work well together and this purple uh color actually i have a little bit less of it so i don't know that i have enough of it to do a project with it by itself so combining it with this other colorway i think is going to be a great way to use both and have a little bit of fun with the different colors and the fabric i do i was really concerned about what to make with this because of the stretch due to the crinkles as well as just the overall you know feeling of taffeta but i think as a dress this is going to be really cute and i believe that i saw someone i on ig make that same dress out of this same fabric although it was all one colorway so i think that this will end up being a cute project i just don't know when i will get around to it next up i have these two denim chambrays in two color tones one is a medium denim blue and one is a darker denim blue it's a very slight difference in the coloring but it is definitely there i have several yards of both of these because i love a denim chambray and these little pinstripe details that you have here are just so fun to me i don't know you know how i feel about stripes so so I grabbed this in both colorways because I certainly wanted both 
colors so I loved uh, the darker one first I actually saw them both on the boat and they were the wrong sides out and I thought they were the same color and when I saw someone pull the other color I decided that I had to have both so I have this darker color that I've already made a project out of some of it you'll see it soon it's a pattern test um, and then the lighter color I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it a part of me thought that I would try to use the colors together in the same project but I don't think they're quite different enough for really like a color blocking idea so what I think I'm gonna do instead is make maybe a dress or a two-piece set out of one and then the other I'm not sure the project that I've already made is a jumpsuit and like I said it's a pattern test so I can't show it to you quite yet but it will be coming to the blog and the internet soon now this is a chambray and if you're not familiar with a chambray just know that it is like a lightweight denim sort of looking fabric that has beautiful drape hangs nicely this one actually has a little bit of weight to it but it still has that nice drape you're not going to have any stretch or anything in a chambray but it's a very pretty and easy to sew with a uh, fabric I think this is going to be great for any spring or summer project with the two-piece set I think I want to do a wide leg pant in like a matching top like I said I've already made a wide leg jumpsuit out of it and I could also see a dress mini or maxi or midi any length because the drape on these is just gorgeous next up I have a few rayons and if you've been following me for any time you know that I love a good rayon and rayons come in solid colors and they also very often come in prints and here I have a wide selection of prints first up let's start with this like cherry boss blossom floral that has this bright blue background as well as these beautiful like pops of white flowers with the red accent in the middle just like you know cherry blossoms in DC are making Georgia for the cherry blossom kind of festivals I originally thought that I would use this for maybe my Atlanta frock tails garden tea party outfit and then I found some other fabric that made me change my mind but this is absolutely gorgeous the thing that I like about rayon is it is very smooth and comfortable to the touch it has amazing drape and it needs very little pressing usually because rayon is sort of wrinkle resistant and it's just a fabric that I absolutely love to work with and it's easy to sew or at least it's not difficult to sew. I have another floral which is a little bit different a little bit more muted this one has again a blue background but this one is more of like a teal or aqua blue versus um, the bright blue that we had previously and I really just like this color scheme and yeah it's just really cute and I was definitely in the mood and thinking about florals because Atlanta Frocktails is coming up and a lot of the floral prints were catching my eye now as a complete contrast I have this geometric chevron print in a rayon and I grabbed this mostly because I love the colors here I just finished talking about how much I like sort of like a chevron avocado green and here in this striped fabric you can see that mixed with black and white as well as a teal blue in a really pretty purple again this is another rayon so you're just going to have that amazing drape and feel it's going to be easy to work with aside from trying to match up these chevrons this is a quite busy print so i'm going to probably need to get creative with how i'm going to use it and pick a pattern that maybe doesn't have as many seams so that you aren't seeing this getting broken up so much when i have busy patterns like this i like to use a pattern or busy prints like this i like to use a pattern that's sort of simple so the fabric can really speak for itself versus competing with the cut lines and the seam lines of a busier pattern but this is gorgeous i have quite a few yards of it my initial thought is a jumpsuit but it may end up being a maxi dress i just think this is a really fun fabric and i love the colorway these fabrics also fit into the silky sort of category 
This is more of a rayon crepe, but it's still a rayon. I've used this fabric before. You've seen it on the blog and on my Instagram page. I'll insert it here so you can see it again. I just love this really packed floral with these bright, bright vibrant colors. I also really love the fact that it's on a black background. It just sort of looks like sketches of flowers and there's just something about that I like. So I took everything that was left on the boat when I got to it. Um, so I'm not sure how many yards this is. I think maybe like three. And I also grabbed a remnant piece so that I could have a little bit more. I've made a jumpsuit with this previously and so now I'm thinking a dress. One of the new Vogue patterns that happens to be a retro pattern is my first thought of what I will do with these pieces. Again, this lime green, this bright green, this is more like a satin. And I don't typically like working with this kind of fabric, but the color convinced me that I needed it. This was also a remnant piece. I've just unrolled it because I was trying to measure out the yardage. And I think there's only two yards of this, so there's not going to be a lot that I can do with it, but it's so cute. And I think that it will be great for something. If I could squeeze out a slip dress, that would be amazing, but more than likely would only be able to be a skirt or a camisole and not, you know, a one piece. But we're going to try our best. I'm going to hold on to this for a while while I decide it. But a fabric like this would be absolutely perfect for a slip dress or a slip skirt or some type of evening slinky piece that's cut on the bias. The drape would be amazing. Next up, I have this black and white striped fabric. Again, you know, anytime I'm going to do a haul, there's going to be a lot of stripes, especially a haul this big. So this is a poplin stripe black. This is 100% rayon. Again, just a material or a, a fiber that I absolutely love. So this is black and white stripes. These stripes are vertical. I 100% want to make a wide leg pair of pants with this stripe. Um, I saw something similar on H&M site. They had a matching shirt with it as well. I think I have enough to make a like button up shirt as well as the wide leg pants. I just want to do wide leg pull on pants with an elastic waist. I think it's going to be really cute. I just absolutely love stripes and doing the vertical stripes on pants doesn't really require any pattern matching. So there will be no stress there. Lastly, in this sort of rayon category, I have this stripe suiting. Now this is navy blue and white and it is 71% polyester, 26% rayon and 2% spandex giving it just that little bit of stretch. This I actually still probably want to be pants, although it would make a really cute pencil skirt or like fitted sheath dress, you know, something that you could wear to um, work but I don't go in the office that much anymore so I don't know how much I need that so I think I want to do pants I'm really desperate in need of pants these again are going to be vertical stripes so I think that is really good for elongating the legs and all of that but with this pair I think I want to make an actual zip up whether it's a fly zip or a side zip pant, something a little bit more structured, something a little bit more tailored, something, you know, a little bit more like what you would wear to work. And this is a very deep navy blue with a very thin pinstripe. And so I think that's just a very classic business wear kind of look. And I think it will be super cute on a pair of pants. I have a good, amazing fit simplicity pair a pattern for a pair of pants that I've made before that I really liked and I think that I could use this for um, that pattern as well. The last three that I have in this more like lightweight fabric category are going to be cottons um, and they're sort of very different. So this first one is an interesting color like sort of a burnt brown a rust orange kind of color that I love but didn't 100% think would look good on my skin it's very close to my skin color and sometimes I don't like that in fabrics but the rest of the girls who were in the shop convinced me that I needed this fabric and I'm pretty sure that this is just a hundred percent cotton with a nice tight silky smooth weave it feels very good and that's the main reason I felt like I wanted it I think this is going to be perfect 
for a maxi dress with maybe a open back with some ties or something. Something like Mimi G Simplicity pattern or the Perth pattern from Mood Fabrics. Um, something like that. Uh, even Erotica's new Nomi pattern I think would be great in this for you know a nice easy breezy one piece whether you do her dress or her jumpsuit. Um, I'm just a fan of this color and the feel of this cotton so hopefully this will be seen on the blog very soon because I'm excited to work with this fabric. Next up is some 100% cotton from Ruby Star and this has this really cute pattern of the women on board and I oh wait hold on I want it not to be upside down here we go um I think this is just really nice um I like the lavender sort of light purple background I love the different ethnicities and races and hairstyles of the women who are on this pattern and I just think this would be a really cute button up my first thought was to do the Kaylee top which I've been saying that I was going to make for years by closet core that I have never made so hopefully this season I can get around to making that pattern with this fabric because I just think that would be amazing but I do have about four yards even though it's only 44 inches wide so I maybe can make a, something else with it like a matching pair of shorts and I just think that would be a really cute set. Last up for these three lighter weight fabrics is this red and white stripe um i'm actually not sure if this is a cotton or a linen it sort of feels like linen now that i'm touching again but either way i just love the look of it and as a devastating diva of dst delta sigma theta i had to have this because it's red and white so again i think this would be great for a jumpsuit or a maxi dress or a midi dress or even a mini dress or a shirt dress actually would be really cute in this fabric but what I think I'm going to do with this is a matching set um, a top or a cami and again some wide leg pull on pants I just think that's really going to be my go-to this season they're quick to sew they're easy to wear they just always come in handy and again these are vertical stripes so I think that would be great for that but I do reserve the right to change my mind and make a shirt dress um, but I'm definitely leaning pants for these right now Oops, I almost forgot I had this one remnant piece of linen that would sort of fall into this lightweight wovens category. Um, this is actually probably more of like a mid-weight. It's a little bit heftier. I haven't unrolled it yet. It's three and a half yards, and I am almost sure that this is going to be an oversized button-up blouse. I can see it. Like, I have a lot of patterns that would actually work for this, um, namely... Nikki or Beauty Jador's uh, Nomi pattern would do well for this. Black Sewing Network recently did a simplicity blouse, oversized blouse pattern that looked like a fairly simple sew that I think would be great with this as well. Um, but I definitely think it needs to be a shirt dress or an oversized button up shirt. Either way, um, you know, white is classic. I'll probably hold on to this until summer. So you probably won't see this for a while, but I was excited to find this remnant piece. All right, if you saw Denisha's video, and if you haven't, I'll link to it down below, you need to check out her pattern haul or fabric haul from the Melanated Fabrics uh, closing sale because she got a ton of denim, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. I was a little bit late to the game and <laughs> grabbed this denim a little bit later in the day, so I only got these two pieces, but let's take a look at them. First up is like a medium weight. I think this is a 10-ounce denim in sort of like a medium wash you know not dark indigo also not really a light wash and I think that these would be really cute for No Me 2054 which is Kichi B Styles or Marcia's um, cargo pant that I've made before um, I don't think that it's made the blog yet but they're really cute pants and I've been wanting to make a pair in denim I was originally thinking about using a lighter weight chambray kind of denim for those pants but the ones that I've made are sort of a lightweight cotton so it wouldn't hurt to have one in a little bit heavier um, weight so I think this would be nice I think that you know your classic tan or golden sort of top stitching that you see on jeans would really pop against this particular wash of denim this has no stretch it's 100% cotton there's no um, 
lycra in here so you're not going to get any stretch but you don't need any for that kind of pant so I think this would be great for that. Next up I have a black stretch denim which I absolutely love because I typically prefer for my denims to have more stretch. This denim actually has so much stretch it's one of those denims that starts to feel like a stretch woven and not a denim but I like the way that it looks um, and I think that this would be really cute for anything that you would use denim for. A dress, um, the new top by Lynn for No Me or you know a jumpsuit or whatever. I'm actually thinking about doing Brandy Jones strapless jumpsuit that came out I think sometime last year uh, for McCall's and I think that that would be really cute in this. Of course I was initially thinking of making it in a traditional blue denim like Brandy has on on the cover but I think that this would work in a black because it would just be a little bit different. Maybe I'll use gray for the top stitching color. I think that would give it a little bit of pop since you can definitely see the gray that's woven in you know the weft and weave of this denim you can see it on the back side there and I think that that would be really cute that pattern I don't believe calls for stretch denim because it calls for smocking in the back but I just think stretch denim would make a jumpsuit like that fit even better so I was always going to use stretch denim if I was going to make that pattern I just wasn't thinking black I was thinking blue but I've shifted my focus here all right, we have started to make it towards the end of the pile. This went much quicker than I thought. I have a few gabardines because I love a gabardine. It's like a suiting fabric. It's great for lightweight blazers, pants, skirts, dresses. You can do almost anything with a gabardine. So I picked this up in a few colors. It has a very, very light stretch um, against the grain, which is nice and just provides some comfort when you're talking about making slacks or dresses or something like that. And this is a nice sort of charcoal solid gray. So I went ahead and got, I think three yards for this, enough to make a pair of wide leg pants. I did the same thing in this sort of army green colorway. I really like the way that this green pops and I love the way that it feels. It's just like the other gabardine here. So you're talking um, about polyester fibers in these great stretch, great wrinkle resistance, great feel. Now this fabric had all of us in the store confused. Is this black or is this navy? We don't know. It is that same stretch gabardine as the gray and the green. So I knew I had to have it regardless of if it was gray or navy. But our question was, what is it? Because have you ever seen a black that just isn't quite jet black? You know, it could be that. Or is it really the deepest, darkest of navies? We really aren't sure. For comparison, I will show it to you up against a solid black that I know is definitely black um, and I don't know if that's going to provide you much more perspective especially on camera but in real life it still seems sort of close. You could say that this is a navy because it definitely isn't as black as this black but does it just mean they're two different shades of black or is one truly navy and the other black? I'm not sure. Either way, I again will probably be making a pair of pants with this. I'm in desperate need of pants, but it could become like a classic black dress as well. I can sort of see it going both ways. Now, onto the fabric that is decidedly black. We have um, this black stretch twill like suiting. It's very nice. It has an amazing hand and there's no doubt that this is black. This is giving you the true blackest of black. So you can see that it has just a slight stretch here which would be very comfortable for wearing. That's why I like for most of my fabrics to have a little bit of lycra in it so that you can just have that ease and comfort. But I have several yards of this as well. So this may be any number of things I really haven't decided black can just be used for anything and this fabric is amazing it could be used for so much it is a little bit lighter weight than the gabardine but still very nice sharp crisp hand to it could be used for pants or a top or a dress so we'll see what that becomes 
And then I'm not 100% sure what this deep, almost emerald kind of classic green is, but it feels uh, amazing. Uh, some of the girls in the shop, I don't think were sold on this color green, but once you feel it, it's just that kind of fabric that you just want to keep rubbing on. It just, I don't know, it feels so soft and amazing. I definitely think that this could be almost anything as well. This could be a jumpsuit. This could be a skirt. This could be a pair of pants. This could be a dress. It just really feels amazing. I almost wish I grabbed some more of this because I can make multiple things with it. Maybe a cute little capsule wardrobe, but it definitely has a little bit of stretch. Well, a lot of stretch in the vertical direction along the selvage here, which is really comfortable, but virtually none in the cross grain, which is a little interesting, but it doesn't matter. It feels amazing. I know that I'm absolutely going to use it for some project, and I am actually a huge fan of the color green, so the color really actually drew my eye first, and then when I felt it, I knew that I had to have it. That went by way faster than I imagined. So I don't know how many yards of fabric are in that haul, but please know it's a lot. Each one of those pieces is probably at least three yards. and I don't even want to count how many pieces of fabric I just showed you guys. But know that I love each of the fabrics that I picked out and I was happy to share them with you and start brainstorming about what I'm going to do with them. If you have any ideas for what I should do with those fabrics, make sure that you let me know down in the comments. Also, be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss when I bring those fabrics to life in the way of a sewing project because you're not going to want to miss it. And until next time, happy sewing. Bye.